Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I've done several videos on the same topic. And this lady has, or young lady, has watched them and still can't basically understand. So maybe I left some things out. And this is her file. And this is the dog's name. First of all, I wouldn't, I, you, you want to go with a, a beefier text. So let's go to Arial Black, which is a, a good size thick font and then just take and click on your item and left click no fill right click hairline take your freehand tool and just draw a, a shape around the dog make it intersect then select them both and go up to simplify or intersect I'm sorry and then it's going to give you that shape. Now you can do it two ways. One of them is take the envelope tool. And that's one of the videos. But I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to do it what I guess I'd call old school. And uh, well I am going to use the envelope tool. But I'm not going to use the one that would just put it in there. So we're going to grab the. We're going to click on our text now. We're going to grab this envelope tool from down here which is under your fly out from your blend tool. A lot of people get confused because normally it's your blend tool that's showing and they go, where's the envelope tool? Or wherever you have a little, little arrow mark, you have a fly out. And you just click on the fly out and you get your envelope tool. Click on your, your text and then just start playing. And just start taking all your nodes to the outer edge, whoop, to the outer edge of your of your ring here. You could have done this without probably drawing this circle, but it actually does make it a little bit easier. You know, take your your tools and and just make them all inside of your lines. So you could go right there, and then you could actually add a node right there, and then go straight up with that node. And when you do that. You want to back up and probably turn that to a cusp. Turn this node to a cusp. And then, then it should only move one direction. Like that. And I'm not going to, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to take a lot of time whoop, uh, doing this perfectly. I'm just trying to get her an idea of what I did. And uh, a lot of times this will actually work better than the other the other way you know where you put it in there and you could play around with this for a long time to make it look perfect but it doesn't have to be perfect for the video and there you go and i'm gonna i'm gonna intentionally leave this box around it and i'm gonna put this in the dog get it i'm gonna intentionally leave so let's back up here i'm gonna i'm gonna intentionally leave that line because then I'm going to fill in the dog around it. So let's, I've got my nudge factor set on real low. So let's just move them around a little bit. And you could have played with a lot more and brought it down in here. And then, since you've got your line there, you could actually click on your line and grow it a little bit one direction or the other. So your black part of the dog won't be touching the black. And then to just take your smart fill tool and fill in the other parts of the dog. Now get rid of your red line, both red lines, your outline, and there you have it. Now you could have gone a little bit, and you could still do it. That's what's so neat about doing it this way. You could still grab your shape tool or your envelope tool, put it back in there, and now you can bring the dog down more. Anyway, I hope that helped her a little bit and hope you learned a little bit. And thank you for watching.